guys good evening right now it's about 6 pm and today is 8th of february 2021 how are you guys you know how are you doing how are your trades i don't know whether you attended my yesterday's live interaction or not right i had given this call on burger paints right this is how burger paint is it made a red candle and i still suggested that we will be buying Borgia Paints call. The moment it goes above, um, it crosses yesterday's high. And look at the beautiful breakout that has come in Borgia Paint, right? If you were present in my yesterday's uh, webinar, please give a thumbs up and please write some comments, whether you watched it or you found, you traded into it, you made some money. So please write it. I'll feel good. I'll feel that you kind of followed what I said. And not only that, you know, I gave it in the live market as well. I suggested that you please buy options. I said that buy Borgia Paint 770 call at 16 rupees or 16.5. 760 call at 19.9 or 20.2, 20.5. Let me just show you. I also traded into it, which is what you can see here. Look at it from 16 rupees, right? I gave a buy at 16 rupees. Oh, sorry. It need to be locked in. I probably have logged in somewhere else. The, let me just quickly log in. So here we go. Um, I have given, um, you know, trade on uh, Borgia Paint, right? I had given a buy on Borgia Paint. 770 call I had given to buy at 16 rupees, right? see here 770 call at 16 16.5 and 760 call around 20 rupees so see how it has blasted right from somewhere here almost right at the lower levels we caught it we could catch it at the lower lower levels somewhere here and look at the blast that has come from six almost like 10 11 points right same goes with the 760 call i had given a buy 20 rupees somewhere at the bottom right here and look at the blast that it had and it reached on about 32.5 so beautiful trades so that is called you know analysis that's called you know a proper understanding of the trade right and with that although the candle was red i had given you an option call option to buy so let's come back to nifty first i'm going to talk about nifty so how's nifty looking this is how i have shown you the other day right if you go to my channel sorry i need to get you here just a sec i need to get you you the other day which i made and i said that nifty does not look to me at all bearish right and i supported it with some data and i stand here in front of you look at how you know nifty has gone up I think probably I was on this date, right? This candle was formed, which is uh, this one, right? And after that, it has continuously been going up only, right? There is, I think it is going to trap all the beers, right? So some of the things that you can keep on your in your mind that any time the banking sector and the metal sector is positive, Nifty will not come down, no matter what happens, right? It's not that today there was uh, some, uh, like there were not stocks which could, uh, could have been shorted. But in spite of these uh, sell stocks, the buying was very, very powerful, right? As I've always suggested, whenever you see buying in metal sector or in the uh, finance sector or banking sector, please remember not to short Nifty. So uh, now what I have on my radar is again analysis of Nifty. So Nifty is still respecting the trend line, right? See here, it respected this trend line today as well. It didn't fall below this. And it has not crossed this high as well. And I was checking its option chain, next week's, week's option chain. So if I see here, the highest call writing today has happened at the level of 15,500, which, which sounds perfectly fine. If it crosses 15,000, then the next round number or multiple of 500 is going to be 15,000. So that is where you see a lot of people are active. They are writing the they are writing these options, right? Today itself, they must have made 
uh, 90 uh, from uh, no it has gone up a little bit so people are writing these options right on the downside the support is at 15100 only see here huge number of contracts have been introduced uh, you know uh, today right these are the this this is the volume all right now uh, again to me you know if i look into the market i'm finding all the metal sector very very good have a look at hindalco what a massive breakout it has had right if you go to the weekly time frame you will see it's a multiple week time frame breakout right it has broken you know the multiple time zone right the only barrier now is this place which is 283 so if it crosses tomorrow 283 with volumes you can go long on hindalco right it looks very good to me as of now another trade that looks very promising to me right now is uh, titan right i'm finding titan extremely good and uh, the reason is titan is looking pretty much bullish i'll show you the daily time frame this is how the daily time frame is right if this channel is broken right i have made i told this in my previous video as well so i have given yesterday uh, in that video also the same video i'm talking about i have given you a buy in titan above um, this channel right this channel i have given you a buy so if you see here titan is right here right i've given a buy on titan right i've given a buy on uh, see here this is this is where i have given a buy and i said if it goes above this particular place i will be initiating my buy so see here today it has tried to break that place you know which is 1540 right but it has not sustained itself but tomorrow morning if it crosses today's high which is 1563 we can go for a buy in this particular stock it looks good to me for at least a target of about 20 25 points because that will be in case it takes a resistance from the channel then at least 20 points i'm definitely expecting right so that's the other stock then one more stock i have on my radar is escorts so have a look at escorts escorts if you go by the uh, daily time frame uh, it looks to be heading up the uh, at this place you know where it got multiple resistance but have a look at it on a weekly time frame right above today's high which is 1453 it will be in an uncharted territory right it is going to make lifetime high right once again it's going to make a lifetime high it didn't sustain last time it made a double top and came down but this time with the way this particular candle has been formed and the way this candle is coming up today is the first day of the week i believe if it crosses tomorrow with volumes above 1451 or 52 I'm expecting definitely a very, very good move in this particular stock, which is Escorts, right? So let me just make a list for you. The stocks that I'm having on my radar are Escorts. Sorry. Titan. Hindalco. And another very good stock which i feel will should uh, should give you a really really good move up tomorrow or uh, titan for sure have i given titan 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 escorts and hindalco right these are the three stocks which are re really looking promising i'm writing another stock here techm right in fact techm in fee all these are looking very very good to me so i'll show you how techm looks right now so this is how techm looks like right the reason i'm sure you all know it before you go to the next point tell me the reason write it down in the comment box right guys keep learning also about the stock market so if i just draw a channel it has broken the trend line today right where it stands where it stands it has broken the trend line today so where am i going to take the entry above 1005 right that's where above this place i'm going to take an entry into tech mahindra right it's broken the channel that's my yardstick 
that's the that's the way i'm uh, you know analyzing this particular stock if it's coming into this same goes with enfi right enfi have a look at enfi it is exactly in a similar fashion right it's exactly in a similar fashion if you see here uh, uh, enfi has been in a downtrend right for the couple of days a little bit uh, down uh, movement has taken place but today it has broken this channel right it has broken this channel and it's re getting ready to go up right so that is one another stock it stock that looks good to me so now there are three sectors which one can look into and rather i would say four sectors uh, one is uh, metal sector finance sector or banking sector then it is looking extremely good you have a look at coforge you look at um, uh, infoage you look into the techm you look into infi all of them had a breakout today and the th fourth sector that's looking very good to me is the power sector right so whether you look into the power sector tata power or you look into the power grid i have given a call to our members uh, on power grid so all the power sector is also looking extremely good right so these four sectors are right now uh, are being manipulated to move the nifty up so even if there is some downfall let me just have a look what sectors basically fell today so even if some sectors were weak but most of the sectors were very very strong so psu bank and fmcg was little weak but metal auto it reality infra mid cap small cap all of them were positive right so quickly i want to go through with you guys the list that i have made and um, that list is basically titan i'm, I'm going to write it here uh, Ti scots titan hindalco techm and enfi these are on my buy stocks then i have some cash stocks for you loris lab right that looks very very good to me as of now and i do plan to buy it tomorrow if it gives me breakout loris lab is one jk cement is the next one right then i have on my radar beml a lot of for a lot of time accumulation has been happening in this and the last stock in cash i have is apl apollo right apl apollo so these are cash stocks right these four are cash stocks and the top five are FNO stock, so Escort, Titan, Hindalco, Techem, Infi, and on the in the cash I have Loris Lab, JK Cement, BML, and APL Apollo. So how the, these were my trades today? I made whatever profit. This is something I showed you yesterday that I'm holding G, GSW Steel. I I'm still holding my uh, Boja Paint because I still feel it will go tomorrow. It'll, it it has the capacity to go up, and uh, yeah. So these are my trades, and um, once again, you know, to me, Nifty looks very, very rock solid. It does not give me a stance where I can say, okay, Nifty is going to be correcting soon. At least not till 15,300. I'm expecting it to go in a straight line up, right? So this is how Power Grid looks, and um, to me, Power Grid still looks very. Very, very powerful right but there is a resistance out here 215 beyond 215 if it breaks that with volume uh, as i told you the power sector is on my radar i can definitely expect 225 right that's what i can expect the high that it has made in august 2017 right there's a weekly time frame so um whenever you are analyzing trades always your time frame has to be minimum one day right you cannot cannot have lower time frames right because you uh, whenever you analyze any trade with lower time frames, more probability of your stop loss getting hit. So when you analyze your trades with one day, there is a probability that your stop loss may be deep. But uh, if your analysis is correct, you will find really good movements in those stocks. So I think with this, I'm going to sign off. I still am bullish on Nifty. I'm not giving up my uh, stance on Nifty, being very, very positive and as i told you 11th february let's have a look so if we have a look at 11th february uh, the highest contracts again have been written at 15500 today right that's the change in oi and look at the kind of volumes that have appeared and also 15200 also had huge number of uh, huge volume 
even for that matter, uh, 15, 150 also have good volumes. But I think there will be some option adjustment that may take place tomorrow. And um, Nifty looks bullish, right? I, I can't say what may happen internationally, but uh, there could be a possibility for some correction. But I'm I'm very very bullish because I did analysis just before making the video, and I found metal sector, banking sector. Uh, in banking sector, I'm finding ICICI Bank very good. In metal sector, I'm finding all stocks extremely good. And in IT sector, I'm finding all the all the stocks extremely good. So there is no reason for market to correct. And if a little bit correction comes, we should take it because um, that gives us opportunity to take entry at the right place. So with this, I'm signing off. And please follow me on my Twitter as well. You will keep getting good trades out there. And um, yeah, I'm, sh I'm expecting you to be present on my uh, Telegram channel. Uh, here I give live trades and see here I have given today this trade straight away 11,000 rupees in both of them either of them if you have bought it I had given a call buy call on ultra tech 220 it went uh, ultra tech call made a high off let me have a look here it's, it is here it made a high of 267. Huge amount of money, right? With small investment. But the thing is, you have to have a correct analysis. People people don't make it all. Everybody don't make it, right? Because they don't have correct analysis. So I would request you all to commit yourself to learn about the stock market and then only venture into, enter into stock market with little capital and slowly, gradually grow it. So take care, guys. See you tomorrow in the live market. Bye-bye.